Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, your station, your channel where you get to watch, learn and experience. I'm your tutor Mr. Mangi taking you through physics form 3. So stay tuned and do follow the lesson through. So what are the goals of this lesson? By the end of this lesson, you'll have achieved the following. You will be able, you will be able to state terminal velocity and also you'll be able to state the application of terminal velocity so let's consider a body falling through a fluid this could be a gas or a liquid remember bodies which are closer or near the surface of the earth experience the force of uh, gravity so they are pulled towards the center of the earth so when the body is initially released the only significant force acting on the body is due to its weight and the downward force of gravity so the body will fall with an initial acceleration due to gravity so when the density with the dense fluid or with low density body the abrupt force of the fluid due to its uh, due to the fr uh, the weight being dispro uh, displaced by the body will also be significant so as the body accelerates downwards the drag force exerted by the fluid increases so when we refer to the drag we refer to the frictional force exerted by the body as it falls through the liquid uh, drag is frictional force in fluids so from the diagram which is on the left hand side you realize that we have the weight acting downwards through the fluid and the direction of force is towards uh, the ground or downwards so at the, at the same point you realize that for every action there is an equal but opposite reaction so the reaction for this case is the drug so ball falling at a constant speed uh, we read uh, we uh, move with the same speed downwards let's consider the same now therefore there's no longer any resultant force acting on the body since action is equivalent to reaction and therefore momentum is cha uh, change is zero from the equation f is equals to ma so the body now falls with a constant velocity. The constant velocity with which this body falls with is what we refer to as terminal uh, speed or terminal velocity. So remember, uh, we are referring it to velocity since the force is towards uh, in a specified direction. So on the left hand side, on the right hand side, as you can see, uh, we have divers. And since they are experiencing uh, the same same force the drag effect yes their weight is towards the ground but they are moving through air which is a fluid and therefore they are experiencing viscous drag and therefore it means that uh, the, uh, from the Newton's second row of motion F is equals to ma since action equals to reaction uh, there is no acceleration so they move at a force of uh, the, the, the total acceleration e equals to zero since action and reaction is zero and therefore they will fall at a constant velocity which is known as terminal velocity so we can represent this graphically as shown uh, using uh, the resultant force and acceleration so for the body falling uh, through a fluid, its velocity increases up to a point where the drag equals to the uh, action force through the fluid. So we have said that at the point, the body will move at a constant velocity, which we are referring to as the terminal velocity. So here we have got the terminal velocity and the speed increases up to a point where it becomes a uh, constant so let's see whether we have understood the goals of this lesson what does drag force acting on a body depend on number two uh, describe and explain the motion of a body falling through 
a fluid uh, because of its gravity and number three what is meant by terminal speed or terminal velocity you can refer this to secondary physics students book three for the edition or you can send us a text through the numbers on your screen or visit our youtube or our facebook page at Arimu tv or send us a tweet through the numbers on your screen once again i'm your tutor mr mongi stay tuned for more results to come